Hello everyone, this is Insane J, and we're back on the Happy Diggers AMP server. Last episode I showed you guys the basics of the Flex Beards Steam mod, and since then I have been busy upgrading the Steam Pipe network, and I've added, well, pipes and valves and some more steam gauges. And today I'm going to put down some machinery, but unlike last time, I'm not going to craft everything. I've already made quite a bunch of stuff, so I'm just going to put it down and, well, explain as we go. You know, the usual. Um, first things first, I now have a steam whistle. So last time I told you guys about the rupture discs. Um, they will help prevent a catastrophic overload in your steam network. And the steam whistle will start blowing long before that happens, or well, before it happens. So hopefully uh, before things start overloading, the steam whistle will go off. Um, I'm going to put some coal inside of the boiler. Well, the rest I had anyway. So that should start producing a lot of steam. And I'm hoping those steam tanks at the top will uh, store everything. And if not, well, we'll see if the whistle starts blowing and if the rupture discs work. So I don't know exactly how much steam this will produce. It's all new for me. So I'm just putting it in and we'll see what happens. Might be fun. Um, the first thing I want to do uh, Machine-wise is these rock smashers. Uh, basically they are like uh, macerators or grinders or comparable blocks from any other mod. And they run on steam and they crush ore blocks. Now the way to use these is to rotate them like this so they are facing each other. And of course they need steam, so at the back they are now connected to the steam network. And I placed a column of bricks here, because when you start smashing ore blocks, the resulting uh, items tend to fly away towards the back. So doing it like this, hopefully they should move to the front. And of course it's not working. I hear something. There we go. Okay, so the items are popping out. And of course that means you have to pick them up. And I don't like picking up stuff. So what I did is I got myself a vacuum hopper and chest. And it will suck up the items. Most of it anyway. And there we go. Oh, it's in a vacuum hopper. Hmm should put them in the chest. Maybe I need to put the chest somewhere else. Ah, whatever. We'll figure it out. Who cares? We're recording videos. The smashers work. That's the main point. We'll get this stuff sorted out later. Um, off camera, we experimented using the fans from Flexbeard and vacuum and they were great but they also moved the player around and that's eh, you know it's not not very nice standing here having to fight against the fans or i should probably make another setup for it okay next one is the steam hammer and of course you need to connect them to a steam pipe and you need to place an anvil under them and then what you can do is well, basically like any anvil. Yep. Let's get some diamonds first, if I have any. Yep. Okay, so uh, I'll just take a few diamonds. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I do really like the way these steam machines look. Really nice. Okay, so let's repair my shovel. Now I think I need to click the steam hammer and not the anvil. And then I 
put in the diamond shovel. Uh, just note my XP level right now is at 44. And I put in one diamond and let's rename this thing to digger one. And kind of take it out. Do need to put it in. Hmm. There is steam in the network, as you can see. Or do I take it out here? Do I need to put in more diamonds? Ah, there it is. Nope. Ah, come on. Stupid machine. Work. <laughs> This is crazy. Maybe we need to wait a little bit. I don't know. I saw someone else do this and it worked, so not sure what's going on here. Valve is open. Ah. Not sure what's going on here, but um, the steam hammer should hammer the item and then when it's done you should be able to take it out again so I'm not sure why it's not working but yeah we'll figure it out I'm just figuring stuff out as we go you know okay so more machinery we need to put down first is uh, the steam filler now I hope I can just put this on the steam tank like so and the filling pad here yeah. I don't think that'll work. Or at least I hope it will work. Um, this is to load steam tools and steam suit. Um, the suit you can make is called the exo suit. It's my super suit. And if we go here into the book, it explains how you can make the various parts so that's what we're going to do because I'm really excited for this steam exosuit it's amazing and um, here are all the crafting recipes uh, we need to begin with an engineering table for that I need an iron plate which I do not have yet Ooh. still getting a little bit used to the new hotbar so I'm going to put in two iron ingots. Uh, oh, oh, that's not good. Okay, close the mold. Pour the plate. Get the plate out. And repeat. Usually I like to empty the crucible so it's ready for whatever is next and as you can see I put in two ingots and I got three plates out of it so any recipe that requires ooh, it started working nice that's awesome okay so now my shovel is fixed that's how it's done I guess it needs steam and a little bit of patience uh, okay, so let's make, doo -doo 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 -doo, what's it called, it is called the engineering table, put in the plate, and some cobblestone, and I'll just put that down here, and then what I'd like to start making is uh, I'll just start with the headpiece and then make all of them. So the headpiece is, you know what? I'll just here we go. Uh, headpiece. Mm -hmm. I have a ton of these brass nuggets because I filled the crucible to make nuggets and it's crazy never fill the crucible if you're making nuggets it's way too much okay that's the headpiece then the exosuit chest piece 
Okay, you get normally you get nine of these nuggets from one ingot. And if you put, I think you can put eight ingots into the crucible. So that gives you, well, more than nine nuggets per ingot. So that's, uh, that's kind of crazy. Don't ever do that. Don't be like me. Okay, crafting all this stuff. I do like the way these recipes are set up. They are, well, they make sense, uh, kind of. So that's nice. You also have mods that have recipes that make no sense. Um, okay, so this is basically the framework I have done. And uh, so you can make an exosuit and you can upgrade the exosuit. And one of the things you need first is a tank and you can put in a regular steam tank, uh, but you can also put in an, a reinforced exosuit tank or a heavily reinforced exosuit tank. So that's what we're gonna do. So first we need, well, a regular exosuit uh, tank. Um, this one. Boop. I hope I have enough plates. Uh, I needed to make the tank first. Well, that's easy. Yeah, I don't have enough stuff on me. And then the heavily reinforced. Oh, I need to do that twice. Yeah, I need more brass plates. So I'm going to make some, some more plates. And I'm, I'll speed this process up so you don't have to wait for it. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you guys could see, that's quite tedious having to make all those uh, brass plates. So if you ever want to do this, you may want to uh, get ready for a bit of a grind. But yeah, I think it's totally worth it. Hope you guys do too. So what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was making these reinforced exosuit tanks and I needed one more. So I needed a tank first, I think. It's one tank, that's a block of brass I need for something else. So put that in. Yeah, I'm not going to, <laughs> I don't have enough. Uh, brass plates to make everything I wanted to do. Uh, well, you know, the wonders of editing. So, doop, doop, and that gives me a heavily reinforced exosuit tank. Now, I think if I take this engineering table and I put the tank in, then I can put this in one of these slots. There we go. So now I have an exosuit chest piece uh, which can store steam units. Right now it has zero out of 3.6 million SU. I'm guessing that's steam units. And there are a bunch of upgrades you can put in the exosuit, which is why I'm very excited to make it. And one of it is, I think, brass, which will give me heat protection. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a brass exosuit plate. And I'm going to put it in like this. That's, uh, now it says fire protection, so that's cool. Okay, so can I put it on? Yes, I can. These I can't put on yet. Oh, I can put them on. But they shouldn't do anything because they're just, well, Basically, they're empty. <laughs> oh, that's that's interesting. Okay, so now I have this steam pack on me, and it's empty. And if I stand here, ooh, that's interesting. So it should charge or start charging my suit, and I can look around. <laughs> that's awesome. 
And as you can see, it's charging my suit. And this will charge it faster than uh, just putting it in that the item slot thing in front of me. Now, the thing I really need to make, which is why we're do doing all of this, is... Uh, where is it? It's the back slot. Yep, it's the jetpack. So I'm going to make a jetpack so we can start flying. Okay. And the jetpack. Always use the recipe that has the plates in it. It's always cheaper to do. A jetpack. Oh, yeah. Put that in the crafting table. Put in the jetpack. And now it says steam jetpack. So let's see. Oh, yeah, I can fly. But, ooh, oh gosh, <laughs> that's pretty bad. It goes up like a rocket, but forward momentum is, uh, uh, <laughs> ouch, isn't very good. Well, not yet anyway. So right now it's kind of like the, the early game jetpack we put in. Uh, but there are upgrades that will allow me to move around faster. So let's see if I can find one of those. Ouch. Yeah, and I need some feather falling stuff. So I think it's in the leg slot. Adding additional sets of piston to my legs allows me to maneuver at speeds before unachievable. The modular allows me to run and walk more quickly. And of course it uses steam. So I need four brass pistons, which I have, and two more plates. Like this, and then we go here, put in this. Uh, okay. Did I read that wrong? Can't seem to put it in any of these slots. Oh, okay, so the lag piece accepts the accelerator. leg slot yeah so the book says leg slot and i interpreted it as ooh, that's a lot faster that's awesome okay so flying it eh, doesn't really help for flying yet oh running is nice yeah this suit is amazing yeah i'm going to make all those upgrades and then i will show you guys in the next episode because this episode has been getting a little bit long already. So yeah, this is amazing. Okay, so all these um, these chapters have upgrades in them. So thrusters to aid with air movement. I need five plates. Do I have five plates left? I have exactly five plates left. Ooh. I'm going to make thrusters. Where are the thrusters? Then I hope that I'll be able to fly really, really quickly. Uh, where were they? Where do you put the thrusters? E, not the vanity slot, no. Where did I put my thrusters? There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now it's going. Oh, <laughs> now it's a jetpack. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. J Corp, here we come. I think Muppy is on the server. Let's have a look. She's not on Teams, or I'm not on Teamspeak, so. Yep, there she is. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Please don't kill me.